Analicia was the girl that followed like all the rules. She was a really great kid. She was an artist, an athlete, a high honor roll student. Um, and she, you know, she had a lot of goals and a lot of, and a lot of dreams, um, that were, that were cut short. She fell in gym class in November and she was, um, seeing ortho for her knee already and PT for her knee. Um, and so they kind of like just figured if she worked out her glute that, um, that the pain, the tightness and all that would go away, but it didn't, it got worse. And so in December, um, she started having severe pain where she couldn't walk very well. And we went to the ER and they did an ultrasound. And at that point I knew it was cancer because I'm on the doctor came in and started doing his own scanning. And then after the biopsy, we found out that it was the malignant tumor and it was epithelioid sarcoma, the proximal type. She's stayed positive the entire time. Um, she never really even cried because she got cancer. Um, th the only time she cried, like, especially in the beginning was when they cut her hair and it's because she was sad to see her hair go. Analicia had decided um, to change her make a wish. Originally, it was to go to Hawaii. Um, and then when we couldn't travel to Hawaii, she decided to, she wanted to get dressed in her prom dress. And then after she wanted to do a Hawaiian party, it was special. The prom ended, she was resting through the night and around 2 a.m. on Monday morning is when she passed away. This is a letter that I wrote to Analicia. Um, I gave it to her on March 3rd. Dear Analicia, like you said, I tried to prepare you for anything and everything, but we did not prepare for cancer because I never thought in a million years you'd ever have childhood cancer. Your purpose is to brighten the lives of others by your kindness, make the world a better place by your intelligence, and impact those around you by your positive and op optimistic outlook on life. Remember, you're the girl that won the Triple C Award for character, commitment, and courage in your entire grade, which speaks volumes to who you are. You're the oldest young soul I know, and you can help put everything into perspective. I need you because you're supposed to grow up and be my adult best friend. After all these years, I've disciplined, scolded, and taught you about life. We got through the tough times growing up, and now we're supposed to become best friends. A child is never supposed to go before a parent. I need you to see how contagious your laugh is and how you brighten so many people's worlds. You're a great role model and inspiration to those around you. I need you to be here when I'm gone to hold the family together and to be the glue. I need you to be the executor when I'm gone. Despite you being the kindest girl I know with a heart of gold, I know you have that feisty side to beat this. I know you've already gotten through the toughest times growing up and you've always preserved, persevered with grace through every obstacle you've ever faced. Love your biggest fan, your mom.